Hi folks, my name is Mitch aka M177 in game here to provide another video for this game that I'm playing called Craft Legend and today's video is actually going to be about lighting. Uh, for those of you who are in the process of designing your house, trying to figure out what to build, trying to figure out how to do the layout and everything, um, and eventually deciding on what lighting to use, this to me would be a important one uh, just because it's it's the aesthetic value um, I tried to do a couple of things and I was a little shocked slash disappointed on some of the lighting um, that this game provides just because the things that you invest to craft in these pieces of light uh, should have a bigger impact than what it really does Maybe they might change something later on in the future and updated patches, but who knows. Um, here's a prime example. So this is a snow covered lamp. This snow covered lamp can be made uh, at the tungsten work table. Requires, I don't even remember the resources, but if you use it as a lamp source, uh, when you're walking around digging and exploring underground and everything like that, it lights up pretty well. Um, it's got a nice glow to it, it's got a blue tint, um, and this is what happens when you place it. So the lamp itself does emit light, however, like the light right there, it's blackened out. It doesn't make any sense. I really don't understand why it doesn't shine through. So let's pull this up. And let's start with base, the basics. This is your normal torch. This is the one that you start off with. Stick it on the wall, stick it against the side of the wall in the middle, and that's what it basically looks. Um, so everyone has this. It's really easy to make, a few seconds and so on and so forth. Um, this right here is a stone chandelier, not a light source that you can hold around and run around in the darkness with but it you gotta hang this thing you can't put it against the wall you can't put it on the side of the wall and it needs to be hang, hung on a ceiling and when you hang it on the ceiling it doesn't emit a lot of light very very low um, if you're trying to do a stone theme that might be a problem just because you're not gonna get a lot of light out of it it looks like it initially starts off with the light and then the light shuts off. I don't understand why, it might be a bug, whatever. But that's something to take into consideration. So that's stone. Um, the other one that you can craft is the blue frosted torch. This is made at the tungsten work table as well. Same thing with the snow covered lamp and the snow covered chandelier. And the thing with the snow covered pieces, um, the chandelier and the lamp, they really don't provide much of a difference in terms of the luminosity, but the torch, it looks like it's a little dimmer, if you can kind of tell. Um, this is the lamp, just going to put the torch up there, the torch just acts more like a regular torch, not too fancy, nothing at all right there, comparing the two. It's just for, again, more of the, um, the overall look of it. Um, you've already seen the snow covered lamp. Here it is again. It's blacking out. Don't know why. Doesn't make any sense at all. Um, you can't hang it against the wall, so it's not going to stick there. You can't just stick it against the wall on the background, so you can't do that either. Uh, this is the chandelier. Chandelier needs to be hung. See, and the chandelier looks really good. The chandelier look, shines right through, there's no black cover or whatever. Um, and I'm thinking about replacing a lot of my lighting with the chandelier um, in my, I guess, snow covered themed area. The last one that you can actually craft is, actually no, sorry, I forgot about this one. This is the Tropics Torch. Tropics Torch doesn't work at all as a light source when you're walking around covering everything. You can hang it against the wall. It does provide a pretty good amount of light compared to the regular torch. But it's also a lot bigger. So a torch I believe takes one by one square. The Tropics torch takes two by one square. 
so you have to take that in consider into consideration when you're placing that around. If you put it on the floor, it also works as well. You can't hang it for obvious reasons because uh, it looks like it just glitches right through. It'll stick to the wall, but then the torch itself would be cut off from your little area. So the last one that you can make that is kind of expensive is the blood pack torch. And this is made by using um, stuff from the invasion, the blood moon invasion. Uh, so it's nothing really too crazy, nothing too fancy. It does give you a red glow, purplish glow in your area. So just take that into consideration. And I'm not too sure why it's still there. I can't actually grab it anymore. Huh. I did not expect that, really. That is really weird. I, re I already removed the torch. It looks like it's just a glitch of some sort. <clears throat> Let's try to remove that part right there. Definitely a glitch. Okay, I did not expect that. Well, there you go. That's the torch. <laughs> The blood pack torch. I didn't make it myself. I got it off a drop when the invasion hit. Um, uh, this kind of sucks actually because I was going to show some other light sources. I wonder if I can cover it. Nope. It's, it's a glitch. Okay. Uh, that's another bug in this game. Kind of sucks. Okay, so I need to. All right, let's just move on. Okay. So let me see if I can get away from this torch. Okay, this should be fine. Okay, so let's try the other light sources that you can obtain. Um, as you're traveling through the different areas and different biomes and zones and stuff like that. Okay, so the rest of the stuff that you can get, um, let me just pull them out. They vary from boss drops, they vary from the furniture that you might actually be able to see in the background. Um, and those are the random things that you can pick up. Those I don't really suggest. Uh, it is obviously up to you, but I don't suggest them just because it becomes very difficult to try to obtain. Uh, maybe it's something that you really want to do, but aside from that, um, I more than likely won't do that myself. There's a little mole in there too. Okay, so this is the palace lamp. This is from the Lost Palace in the desert biome. It does act as a good light source if you're run, roaming around everywhere. And if you place it, you have to place it against a wall. You can't place it on the floor, you can't place it on the ceiling. It needs to be attached to a wall of some sort. Decent amount of light, but again, it requires you to collect these um, on your travels. This is a sage lamp. This is from the um, the landmark boss in um, the forest biome. So that's the subterranean lamp. Oh, sorry, the sage's lamp. This is a K 
castle wall lamp. This is something that I have been dropping whenever um, I do the Hades um, missive event or whatever. And they drop plenty of that um, on easy mode. Uh, so there's that. Gives kind of a red darkish glow to it too. This is more um, useful if you just carry it. Uh, this is a mine stove. And mine stove is from the forest biome. This is where you get the um, the, the place where you kill the, the zombie boss. This is an animal bone torch from the overgrown altar. This is from the jungle biome. And I can't place it because it's freaking huge. So... There you go. So there's that. And then there's the bone torch. And this is the one where you go in the forest biome to go kill the goblin. And the bone torch can also be placed on the floor as well. So it could go against the wall or it can go on the floor. Um, so that pretty much is it. I just wanted to share this with you guys um, because I didn't want to spend like two hours crafting lamps or whatever um, just to find out that it's nothing that I actually want it to be. Um, you saw the glitch with the torch right there, it's still on. Unfortunately, I don't know why it's happening, but whatever. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please feel free to comment. Feel free to hit a like button or not um, if you want to see more videos. Feel free to subscribe and click the notification icon. I uh, plan to do more videos in the future and thank you again for watching. Take it easy.